Have you ever heard of confirmation bias? Because even if you haven't heard of it, you've been living it and probably doing it most of your life. Most of us are until we become self-aware and then we change our ways. So confirmation bias is basically defined as somebody who only listens to things that they agree with. They watch only the news channel that they know will, will give them their point of view correctly. Like if you're a Fox person, you only watch Fox, you can't watch CNN or all, all the other contradicting um, news channels because they'll be wrong. Or if you are a certain religion, you can't listen to somebody else who dis who believes differently because that's uncomfortable and they're wrong. So confirmation bias means that you have a bias. We all have this natural tendency, hu ten human tendency to want to listen to the things that we agree with and to ignore, delete, run away from, or not allow ourselves to hear anything from an, an opposing point of view. We see this in politics, we see this in religion, we see this in everything. <laughs> so in order to become more self-aware and capable of handling the triggers that come to us and the things that we would normally run away from or numb from or hide, or pretend that aren't there, uh, it helps to become more self-aware and to recognize when we are choosing to not listen to somebody because they're triggering us and instead to allow ourselves to hear the other side, to hear opinions, to hear viewpoints, perspectives, experiences from people who are different than us, who believe differently than us, or who simply have not had the same kind of life experience. And what I have found from my own personal experience that when I open up and allow myself to listen to something that I'm not biased towards, something that I might disagree with initially, oftentimes my mind changes and it opens up and it expands in such a way that I can see people where they are instead of wanting to change them or persuade them or convince them that I'm right and they're wrong. Instead, I can see where they're coming from, understand them, and recognize that maybe they're right <laughs> from where they're standing. If I had been raised the same exact way they had, and had the same experiences and exposure and circumstances and parents and all the things, I probably would be just like them. And that allows me for greater love, greater compassion, greater ability to change who I am. So if we want to be the change in the world, we have to be willing to listen to hard things and to change ourselves first.